Hello beautiful people, Merry Christmas to everyone and we bless God that we are alive today. We thank God, He's so good, He's so kind in our life. Our God is merciful. So today we are going to learn the 10 ways to save money at Christmas and be debt free. It's very, very important to save some money. You don't need to spend all your money this Christmas. It is no secret that Christmas is the most expensive holiday of the year. Trust me, I get it. Not only are the gifts crazy expensive, but everything else is too. I'm talking about the Christmas cards, pictures, holiday parties, and everything else on top of the gifts. That's why it is important to find ways to spend less this Christmas. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Christmas dearly, but for many years, the expenses that come with Christmas sucked the joy out of the holiday. I was stressed, overwhelmed, and my bank account was always empty. Have you been there too? Surely, I'm not alone. To be honest, I thought that this was just the way Christmas always had to be. I never knew that it could be different. I figured out that everyone Everyone around the world was just always poor and stressed during this time. But thankfully, that's not how it has to be. Can you believe it? It's 100% possible to spend less this Christmas and not go into debt. Yes, I said it. And I have walked the walk too. With a little bit of planning and preparation, you can shed the financial stress that the season brings. And all that is left is the magic and beauty of Christmas. I have to give you 10 ways to spend less this Christmas and not to go into debt. Even if you just put half of this practice in place, you will be amazed at how much less you will spend this holiday season. The Lord bless you. Just listen. Number one is plan ahead. Time flip. Christmas is on the way day each year. There are no surprises when it will show up. You, you know it's coming. So go ahead and plan ahead for it. Part of planning includes writing your Christmas budget. Take time thinking about who you want to buy gifts for and how much you want to spend on each person. Writing a Christmas budget is simple when you have the steps to follow. Set a limit and stick to what you said. Better yet, set a limit and try to spend under that budgeted amount. If possible, start saving money for Christmas months before December. If planning is your superpower, then start saving for Christmas in January. Saving just a little bit each month will take a lot of distress and burden off you financially during the holidays. Number two, cuts out extra spending. Not everyone saves for Christmas all year long. That's totally okay. If the holiday season is already in full swing, then it's a little hard to go back in time and save money. To help combat the extra spending that the holidays bring, consider cutting out spending that is not holiday related. For instance, you can cut back on how much you are spending on going out to eat or even your grocery budget. Take a look at your cell phone data plan and see if you can drop down your phone plan or finally cut cable once and for all. It's okay to cut back on your spending this month so that you can enjoy the holidays without going into debt. The worst thing is waking up the day after Christmas with massive credit card, debit and buyer's remorse. So say goodbye to your weekly coffee runs or cut back on your personal spending so you can pay for the holiday extras. Number three, skip out on Christmas cards. Are Christmas cards cute and fun to receive? Absolutely. Are they necessary? Not at all. Now, I love a good Christmas card. They are seriously so fun to receive, but you will live if you skip the cards this year. If you are adamant against it, then order only 25 from an inexpensive place like Jumia or any other place and they would give sell it so cheap to you. This is an easy area to spend less this Christmas. In fact, you can probably buy a gift or two with the money that you save from spending on cars. Number four, start less expensive traditions. 
I absolutely love the Christmas traditions that our family has started. Thankfully, I knew early on that I wanted our traditions to be inexpensive. We don't spend a ton of money on entertainment or grand activities. Instead, our family tradition include baking cakes, cookies, watching Christmas movies on repeat, and driving around to see Christmas lights. When I was growing up, my friends and I would go do carol in the church and pass out candy. What cans? Make it your goal this year to start Christmas traditions that are inexpensive. You will love looking back on these memories in years to come. Stay out of these thoughts. This is number five. If you are anything like me, then you find shopping fun. I love shopping. Honestly, I love shopping. I love walking through these stores, especially during the sales, to see all that I can buy. But spending extra time shopping can be a slippery slope. This includes online shopping as well. An easy way to spend less this season is to simply stay out of the store altogether. Once you finish your Christmas shopping, buy cut or stores. Yes, that means you don't go into Target. It means you stay off the shop and you don't click any shop at all whether in facebook or instagram if you stay away from these temptations you won't spend the extra money okay number six enjoy free local events attending free events goes hand in hand with choosing less expensive traditions most towns and cities have a free holiday festival where you can enjoy a parade a, a, a watching people dancing traditional dance that is very beautiful in the past our family has taken out we'll go on my children with my husband will go just go and just be driving around everywhere it helped you a lot be on the lookout for any events that your town has coming up with if you feel comfortable venture out to enjoy the holidays in your own city start christmas shopping early number seven if you have ever waited until the last minute to make a dinner for it or family meal then you know the stress that comes from procrastination procrastination is very very bad isn't good at all you might even find yourself overpaying for a prepared dish that you can pick up from the store the same is true for christmas shopping if you wait until the last minute to buy your gifts you will be in a rush stress and will grab buy items so that you can check off your list instead start early like now and buy gifts here and there then cross that person off your list not only will buying gifts early save you money but it will also save your sanity sanity organize a gift exchange number eight if you have a large family or group of friends that you exchange gifts with then consider organizing a secret center exchange instead instead of buying for 10 people you only have to buy for one person my family I have a very large family another option is to continue buying gifts for all the kids and organize a gift exchange for the adults in fact I bet there are other people who would appreciate that you organize a gift for them okay another one is number nine diy gifts you don't have to purchase every gift that you give people instead of buying something for everyone diy you phone gift where you can you can make bath sauce or cookies or cake you know to give your neighbors and friends if you are talented at hand lettering then create simple signs for your family to hang in their home not only is this a personal touch but it's something that can last year round last all the year round number 10 remember the true meaning let's be honest in the midst of the busy christmas season it's easy to forget what christmas is all about so when you start to get stressed and you feel the need to overspend come back to the true meaning of christmas because that my friend will guide you through this this season with a happy heart and sanity this is not about the gifts it's not about the stuff christmas is about something much bigger than that okay so there you have it 
10 ways to spend less this Christmas and not to go into debt. Give yourself permission to make changes this holiday season so you can wake up on December 26th without the extra debt and guilt. I promise you, you won't regret it. <laughs>